for me, like, the main thing I was thinking was just like, if I get one opportunity, then that's, I just gotta make sure like I hit a home run with that jump. And, uh, you know, that's what happened. The first, was, probably like one of the first padded practices we had, man. <laughs> yeah, I found out they really, everybody hit in the league, man. If you, everybody, everybody? Hit, yeah, everybody can hit in the league, man. That's, I feel like that's a big thing, just trusting God's plan, for sure. This Malik hand, this is my moment of spotlight. You know, look, moment of spotlight, episode nine for the year. Joining me, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. He told me bench like 550. I'm not gonna lie, he like seven feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I got Malik hand. What's up, bro? How you feeling? Yeah, chilling, bro. Chilling. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna start off, bro. It's like. With a mental health check, bro. You know, mental health brought to you by Steps Towards Success. Hello, I'm Darren Rogers, CEO of Steps Towards Success, where our mission is to significantly improve the mental health of all of our participants, utilizing a relevant, collaborative, and a person-centered approach. Mental health check, bro. One, from a scale one to ten, how you feeling? To be honest, right now I'm probably like a, a seven, six, seven. Like, mm. you feel me? Reason I say that, cause I ain't like, like it's right before the season start picking up. So it's like a little stress, but I mean, like you still like, you just gotta get in that mode and just get it done. And you know, you always got room to improve. You never wanna walk around just telling everybody, you know, you, you 10 when you really feeling yeah. like you like in the middle. But uh, that's big, I'm glad you asked that. Cause I feel like as black men, like we don't really talk about like mental health at all. So that's big. We sure. don't, and I feel like when we do, it's not really appreciated enough, especially yeah. as men in general, bro. It's not appreciated enough. Yeah, exactly. Like, the biggest thing for me was when uh, I got with my girl, and uh, she kind of started making me think about, like, kind of how I be thinking about myself, and I'm like, oh, shit, like, maybe I've been thinking about shit the wrong <laughs> way. I've been, I've, been, uh, I've been messing up, like, the way I've been uh, processing stuff, but... Nah, that's big though for sure. Nah, I say. But you said a six or a seven. Why? why I mean, it's because the season come, coming around. That's why. Yeah, I mean, like I ain't, I ain't in those. I would say a seven. Like six probably low, but yeah, I think I would, six a little. Like, yeah, that's I would a say D, seven, bro. I would say a seven. Like keep in mind, like I ain't saying like you feel. Me? I'm always blessed, especially being in the league. But you know, like I just, you just sometimes life be. You feel me? Life, just life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Nah, I say. Yeah. I say. You know, so you just finished your rookie your rookie season with the Ravens. Yeah. Off season now. What's like what's this 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 time of the year for you, off season? Yeah, so uh this coming towards the end of the off season a little bit, 'cause like basically after the since we had a we had a good run last year, so our season ended like the end of January. So basically from then until April, you just basically doing like workouts and stuff on your own. So like I'm blessed to be like since I play for the Ravens and I'm from here like I could work out the facility so I just been going in there grinding grinding in there but uh, other than that like you pretty much just doing your own thing kind of you know just getting that work in mm. and then like oh my fault I didn't mean to cut you off oh but, no you no you good you good you good yeah but and then like right now we kind of in the process of like meeting like doing meetings learning the plays and all that stuff and uh, getting ready for the season now okay so what's what's kind of like Cause you're working on your own, right? Yeah. So is it kind of different for you mentally opposed to when the season happening, you probably got a coach, get up Malik, get up Malik. Now it's mm -hmm. like, you got to do it. I feel like, yeah, it's different. But at the same time, like, you got to remember, like, we've been, I've been doing this for like, since high school for real. Like, okay. it's pretty similar to like the process. Like, of course, like now, like you're in the league. So you going, like, you, you going harder now. Cause it's like, this your job, but like, all the same thing, like summertime in high school, and you like waking up, going to the weight room, going hit the field, all that stuff. It's pretty much the same thing. Like you just like now it's like a little bit more important for sure. Okay, but it don't really change because you've been doing it for years. Oh yeah, for sure. Like like this is my first year like at the pro level, but like at the same time like in college, like you grinding high school, you grinding like. And uh, that's kind of how, like, if you're not grinding at that level, then it's kind of like, that's that's on you. Like, you you don't really want to get your dream accomplished, for sure. Yeah, no, nah, I, I feel like the people that be slacking off when it's all season, they don't really want it. They yeah. ain't really hungry. Yeah, I will say that. Like, I feel like one thing I learned is, like, you got to, like, put actions behind, like, your words and stuff like that. Because a lot of times people would just be like, oh, like, I want to do this. Like, it don't even got to be football, like. Anything. A lot of people would be like, oh, like, I want to I wanna start a business or something. 
but like they don't take no actions to like get that accomplished. It's just kind of like, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that, and uh, that like you just gotta chase your dreams, like you feel me? No, I'm saying just a, I mean yeah. like talk no action. You know, all right, so you go into year two. What's like a what's like a, some goals you want to accomplish year two of the Ravens? Like for me, like I want to play for sure. Like I I got injured last year, so uh, I was out the whole year. But I mean, go this year just to get on the field and uh, yeah. you know just just let everything fall into place. Like that's pretty much my main goal right now. And then uh, once once I get on that field, like just let everything take care of itself. Okay, yeah. They say yeah. when Malik Hammy on that field, he definitely go ham. Yeah, Back. definitely. You gotta get in that mood. For you sure. So you been injured last year. I mean. How much did that kind of affect you mentally? I mean, it affected me a lot because, like, when it first happened, like, it's like first is like your body. Like, I went undrafted, so like, if you don't know what, what undrafted me mean, like, you didn't get drafted, and uh, you just basically signed with the team after the draft as like a rookie, and it's hard. It's kind of like, you like when that happened, like I was like, immediately all the worst thoughts started coming to my head, it's like, oh man, damn, this about to happen, that's about to happen. But, you know, like when I got back home, I, I'm glad I was in Baltimore because, you know, I was with my family. Like that kind of took my mind off of everything. But but after that, like I kind of just flipped gears, like, all right, like that happened to me, but now it's time to, you know, get ready for my next opportunity. So that I just got the rehab, you know, once I was good enough to run and stuff like that, just putting in the work on the field, lifting weights, you know, just trying to get trying to get better and uh just waiting for your next opportunity, bro. That's all it is. Okay, facts. You know, I feel like I really was wondering this because of like like you said, you go undrafted. Yeah. But it's like at the end of the day, bro, you, you made it to the league. Oh yeah, for sure. So it's like what what is that kind of like, like feeling like when it's like, I right, I'm in the league but now I'm undrafted, so there's still obstacles in front of me. Yeah, like I feel like at a certain point, like like before you start like putting in a negative thoughts, you also same thing you said, you gotta appreciate like where you came from because like a lot of people b- would be wishing to be in your position, like right, yeah, so like, and you still accomplishing your dream at that point, like like you gotta think like when you was like uh, six, seven, like you was like, I want to go to the league, and you there, like you making your younger self proud, but with that, you also got to be able to flip gears in your head, like, all right, I'm here, but now it's time to, like, lock stay in. here, <laughs> lock in so you can stay here, because, yeah. you feel me? So that's kind of what it is. It's like a bunch of just, like, just getting ready to go, like, every day going in, like, it's a game, like, for real. Nah, I, I, I feel that, bro, because, yeah. like, when you when you want to do something so bad, especially for you, bro, because you from Baltimore, so mm-hmm. I know I know it was a dream for you to play for the Ravens. Yeah. And, like, you, bro, you actually do that. Yeah. Like, not nobody that I would come across play for the home team. Yeah, like, that's that's, that's a rarity. Definitely, like I would say, like that's like say if I did, like that's why I would say that like everything happened for a reason. Cause like you want to get like you want to get like for me, I wanted to get drafted, but at the same time, like who knows? Like maybe I went to one team and I'm away from my family, and then you know, something happened. Right. Or, like, you don't get to play for, like, your mm-hmm. home team. And that's a dream in itself right there. So, like, you just got to be grateful for everything you kind of get, for sure. Every opportunity. Yeah. So, like, I kind of want to, like, kind of, like, take a step back a couple of years, yeah. right? I want to know, like, what's your why, bro? Like, like growing up, from just from the jump, like, from a your mind, what made you get up every morning and put that work in and grind? For sure. I would say, like, for me, probably, like, first, my family. Like, you feel me? Like, you grow up, you see your little brother. Like, you got your little brothers, your, my older brother, my mother, and my family and all. They they, they all at all your games and stuff like that. And, and you kind of see them supporting you, and they putting in confidence in me. But, like, at the same time, it's like, damn, like, I want to I wanna make it so, like, we ain't never got to go through nothing again. Like, you feel me? Like, we could take care of all the problems. And then, like, that's like I feel like a lot of people go is like you feel me. You want to like get 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 your family a better life, but as it grew, like as I got older, it started to be like a fire in me. Like like say like when I'm coming out of high school, like oh I'm not getting recruited like I wanted to. That's like lighting a fire in me. Like oh I got I got to prove them wrong. Like mm. then you like hearing like oh like they they saying this or that about you. You feel me? 
and you like, oh, I gotta prove them wrong. Even when you get to you get to college, and then it's like it's other players you going against who are the people saying like they better than you. It's like it all like a fire in you to you know want to be the best. And uh, as I grew, it's like you wanna you wanna get a better life for you and your family, but it's also like you wanna start to prove people wrong and not even prove people wrong, prove yourself right, like because. When you was younger, you was telling yourself like, "Oh, I'm a, I'm gonna be the best," and you just proving yourself right every day, like every time you accomplish something. No, yeah. stuff like that. I would say like one thing I've been trying to do like this year is like, I feel like especially in Baltimore, like a, a big problem we got is like, cause I heard it when I was younger, like when you younger, you will see a kid right, mm -hmm. and he'd be like, "Oh, I want to go to the NBA," mm -hmm. and then you'll see a adult with him, and they'll just be like. You're not gonna make it to the NBA. Yes, like, bro. How you tell a kid yeah. like? <laughs> Why would you tell a kid? That? Exactly. It's just stuff like that. Like, like even like believe me, like people told me that growing up. Like, you feel me? How'd you take it when you hear stuff like, like that? Like when I that's the that's the thing. Like kids, you gotta be able to. Like I was just literally telling somebody this. Like when you hear stuff like that, cause you're gonna hear it regardless of like, no matter who you is, you're gonna hear it. You gotta take that as a challenge. Like. Mm. Oh, it's not like they, t they not telling me I'm not going to be able to go to the league. They challenging you to make it there. That's kind of how I looked at it. Like, you always hear the stats, like, only, like, 1% of uh, uh, high school players. So where do they get that stats from? Because I always hear it's just yeah. 1% and like, this Yeah, like, I ain't, I ain't trying to say, like, 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 you not, you, like, you going, like, let me scratch that out. Well, all I'm saying <laughs> is, like, you just can't, you can't listen to what people say. And then just be like, oh, I can't, I can't do it. You gotta, you gotta keep pushing, keep mm -hmm. fighting for your goals for sure. You got to, you yeah. got to. That, that's I'm big on that, bro. I had a lot of people. I just call them like, it's not even really doubt or hate. I just feel like it's them projecting their self. On yeah. You. Cause they when they really be saying it, like you ain't going to the league. No, you see me and you you see a mirror, bro. You look yeah. at yourself. Yeah. And you don't think you going to the league, but yeah. I'm gone. You not. So. Yeah, facts. I kind of look at it cause like. I feel like you like you could say the same thing about like I ain't gonna be a, say a regular person, but say a kid be like I want to be a a, a a doctor or I want to be like a, a RA, a, I mean a, a registered nurse or something. Mm -hmm. Imagine you tell a kid like that, you're not gonna be that. Like yeah, it's that's like, the same. My fault, I didn't mean cut you off, but that's the same way with kids saying they want to make it to the league or something. You can't just be like, oh, you're not gonna do it. Right. You gotta like you gotta help guide them to like their goals and their dreams. And I feel like that's a problem for sure. It is a big problem. You know, there's a lack of guidance out here, bro. Yeah. You know, I, I want to know, like, the kind of, like, switch things a little bit. So yeah. you attended Lafayette yeah. University, right? That's a that's that's a subdivision D1 school. Yeah. Do you think your, you think your college career would have been different had you went to, like, a, you know, SC top 10 or something like that? Yeah, I mean, it all depends how you think of it. Like, you never know, like, like what could happen, but, like, Maybe like if I went to a bigger school, like I could have, you know, I could have probably had more accolades going into the league and that probably could have helped me or whatever. But you also got to look at it like, like I went to a smaller school and I met people at that school that, that's, that I'm friends with still today and I feel like I'm going to be friends with for the rest of my life. And like going there, like when I was coming out for the draft, like, Literally everybody at the school was helping me. Like it was crazy. Like I ain't never had that much like support. Like right there in one place mm -hmm. at one time. But like, like going there, like people was like, "Oh, what can I do for you? Like, what? Like how can I help you? This, that, and the third. And I'm just like, I get that here. Imagine I went to a bigger school. Like you, who knows if right. if it would have been like that? You know, that could have just been another guy there. You feel me? So like, you just gotta take your blessings like where they come for sure. I mean, yeah, I feel like I feel like you put in the right situation for a reason, though. Oh yeah, definitely. Like that's a big thing. Like I feel like when people be like, for me this year, like throughout the whole year, like I've been getting closer to like God and everything. Like I feel like trusting God's right. plan is like a big thing. I feel like that's a big thing. Just trusting God's plan for sure. Yeah, for sure. Like I would just say, you just gotta trust God's plan. Like like for me, like that's different for what everybody think it is, but. But for me, that was basically me just, uh, I would say, like, trusting that if I put in the work, then God 
going to give me the accomplishments or the goals that not that I want that that he has for me. You feel me? Because like a lot of time you could want some, but God just like it's just not not in the wheelhouse. But like you got to trust that, you know, like he going to put everything in place. And you just got to trust yourself to put in the work to, you know, get there for sure. Yeah, that's facts, bro. I feel like a lot, of, bro. A lot of times we get so caught up on, I'm looking hard. So God, give me a boat, like give yeah, me a car. Like, facts. Yeah, that's nah. not how it really worked though. Yeah, it's like you, like you get what you deserve. Yeah, like you still got. You feel me? Like you can't just be like, oh, I think I'm putting it where you gotta actually like you gotta actually take gone. steps towards getting getting what you want. But like you just gotta trust that is is gonna be there if you you take the right steps for sure. All right, so let me ask you this, right? Because I, I talked to my guy, Deron, that went to Lafayette with you, oh, right? Yeah, Deron, yeah. So I want to know, what's up with them chicken and waffle uh, minutes that y'all had, bro, at the practice? Them dinners. What, what oh, was, yeah, dog. Give, give, bro, give me a moment from, like, one of them, one of them um, dinners, bro, that, that, that kind of, like, meant the world to you. Nah, I just remember uh, it was this place called Family's Chicken and Waffles up at, see, that's about going to a small school, like, shit like that. Like, I remember I used to go in there, like, probably, like, once a week. And then one day, like, I went in there and uh, he started asking me about, like, the football and stuff like that. Like, oh, how I'm doing with with everything. And then he used to uh, kind of look out for it. Well, he's probably six. But he used to. He used to. <laughs> he, he used to. Getting the free chicken yeah, he used to, yeah, he used to be giving me the, uh, the chicken and waffles and shit. Okay. And then, like, it's just stuff like that that just make you, like, appreciate stuff more because, like, he ain't had to do that, you feel me? Like, it's just like, he did it off of just like, he was trying to look out for me. Mm. And that was before, like, I even was like, like the NFL was like, before I was even uh, trying to get into the league. Like, this was like, when I was younger, like, first got mm. up there. So, so it was, crazy. was that at one point at the time when you was in college, do you think that, like, was the league always the focus? Yeah, I would say, like, for me, like, since I was a kid, like, mm, okay. when I was like five, I played for Northwood Rams. You play? Okay. Did you play? I played Parkside Warriors. Parkside Warriors. Yeah. I think we beat y'all. Bro, we, bro, we lost like every season, bro. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I played for Northwood, and uh, when I was up there, like my family used they they put a lot of confidence in me because okay. like I'd be like I was a running back and I'd be scoring. Oh, you played running back? Yeah, when I was younger. This is when I was younger though. This is when I was okay, younger. Okay. Yeah, I still can you feel me tote that rock, but uh, man, I may gotta tell Dirk. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Real quick. <laughs> <laughs> nah, shit. But uh, nah. But when I when I was younger, like they put a lot of confidence in me to kind of to kind of get what I, I forgot what I was even thinking about. No, you was talking about how um, you was playing for North Fork Rams, like your family. Yeah, they like impact, they, they impact they had on you. Yeah, like definitely, like they they uh put a lot of confidence in me, and like you would do something, and then they'd be like, oh snap, like dang, dang, dang. It made me feel like I was like a NFL player at that point. Yeah, young age. Yeah, at that point. Mm. So I'm hearing that and I'm like, oh yeah, like I'm I'ma make it to the league. I'ma make it to the league. I'll say you'll hear that and then that'll put that'll be like, oh, I'm going to the league. Like it's not like a can I go to it's like God like I'm trusting that God gonna put me in the league. And then like you of course you go through obstacles where like you you like, damn, like is it possible? Like you'll have a bad game and you'll be like, dang, like Am I really good enough? Am I really? But you just got to knock that off, block that out, and, you know, just keep grinding. Like, just keep putting in the work for sure. I mean, yeah, I definitely believe that. But I, I be feeling like, bro, the people that support you really the ones that's supposed to bring you up and yeah. give you that confidence, especially at a young age. I mean, yeah, yeah like, when I was playing for Parkside, my mom was at every game, but we lost yeah. every game. But she yeah. was there, like, go, exactly. Sean. Exactly. So I'm thinking, like, right, yeah. I'm, right, I'm good enough. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. I think that's why, like, that's the biggest thing I think with like in terms of like helping kids and stuff like that. I feel like just giving them confidence and stuff like that. Cause same thing we was talking about earlier. Like you could say that one thing, and that just kill a whole dream. Like yeah. like somebody was about to be a lawyer, but they heard somebody like, oh, I, I don't think he's smart, and that just killed their. They like, dang, like I'm not even gonna do that no more. And I, that's what I think a big problem we got, like especially in Baltimore, like. If that's one thing I think we can help with, like especially with younger kids, just keep on giving them confidence to do like what they want to do, not what they got to do, like what they want to do. Yeah. 
Nah, facts because a lot yeah. of kids play. They got it. They got to be the man at, at twelve. Exactly. They got. They, they got to yeah. be this guy. You didn't have to, bro. You still. Yeah. You gotta live. Exactly. Like you. You don't ever want a kid to feel like they gotta put their dreams aside. <clears throat> right. And that's where you just got coming as an adult. You just gotta come in and just keep giving them confidence. Like even when they do bad, like you may same like same thing like. You said your mother came to all y'all games even though you lost. Like, lost she, every game. She still was but there. She was there cheering. Channel. Exactly. Like, you feel me? And and then you gotta be there for like when you up and when you down. Like just because you you know you lost, that don't mean like it's over. Like you still gotta pump kids up and you know, just just make sure they, they live in their life. Nah, too. fast at the end of the day, it's a tomorrow. Yeah. You know, I I mentioned um I mentioned your time at Lafayette. Yeah. So you did three years there or four? No, nah, I was there for five. Five, five. Okay, yeah. for five. So, you know, I it came across on your, on your Instagram. You know, first I'd like to thank God for giving me the opportunity to play in the game I love. To my teammates and coaches, thank you for the memories. Forever grateful to you for always believing in me and supporting me through my success and failure. Thank you to my family. You are my motivation to, my, to succeed daily. Without you, this would not be possible. With that being said, I'd like to declare for the 2023 NFL Draft. Yeah. So... What's running through you, through your mind mentally, bro? Is you really stepping away? Because I feel like when we in college, bro, yeah, we are not really fully in adulthood. Yeah. Oh yeah, I definitely like, think and like yeah. a lot. Of, a lot of people be like, "That's why you not." Yeah. In the day, you got a roommate that you kind of do with, say, bro, and you got class. Yeah. So you ain't got that uh, that meal plan right there. You can always go right. to or. And that rent not not good, and you, you not no adult. That's yet. what I'm saying. So we not really adults. Yeah. So what's running through your mind? You stepping from like, like childhood into like really adulthood, bro. Just playing for the draft. Like, what was that process for you mentally? Yeah, I, for me that whole process, man. I was just like locked in. Like, I would say from the, from the moment the the season ended, I was well, like, yet. yeah. Since since that last game, I remember we played our robbery. Literally, like, that next week, I was just in the gym, like, the whole, like, I was just trying to get the work in because, like, for me, like, I was thinking, like, if I'm not, I was well, like, yet. yeah, since since that last game, I remember we played our robbery. Literally, like, that next week, I was just in the gym, like, the whole, like, I was just trying to get the work in because, like, for me, like, I was thinking, like, if I'm not going to make it, it's not because, you know, I'm not. I'm not strong enough. I'm not fast enough. It's not going to be because, like, I don't know what I'm doing. It's going to be because, you know, I just didn't get the opportunity. And uh, for me, like, the main thing I was thinking was just, like, if I get one opportunity, then that's – I just got to make sure, like, I hit a home run with that jump. And, uh, you know, that's what happened. And I was just blessed for that, for sure. That's all it takes. Yeah. So, yeah. I got to know, bro, what was, like, your welcome to the NFL moment? Ah, man. For sure, I'd say probably like the uh, the first probably like one of the first padded practices we had, bro. <laughs> yeah, I found out they really everybody hit in the league, man. If you everybody, everybody? Hit, yeah, everybody can hit in the league, man. That's the one, that's what I say. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, sure. you know, I right, this is a crazy take. Yeah. We just got we the Ravens. Just, I'm a Ravens fan, die yeah. hard since day one. So when I say we, I'm referring to the Ravens. Oh, I got we. you, yeah. We just got. <laughs> you be hearing them people like, you not on the team? Yeah, Why bro. You I, but yeah, bro. I be, take, bro, I be taking it so seriously, yeah. bro, when the game come out. Like, oh, we ready to play. Yeah, I'm already done, bro. So it's like, I got to know, bro. Ravens just got Derek Henry. Yeah. But, you know, Lamar there. Who do you think is hard to tackle, bro? Lamar or Derek Henry? I mean. One-on-one open field, you and them. Who would you rather tackle? I mean, I just give it to them on each of their perspective games. Like, if you, like, it depends the situation. Because, like, if you in the open field, like, you just got to pick your poison. You want somebody that's going to try to run through you or you <laughs> want somebody that run around you. You feel me? Who so, it's just what, whatever. I mean, I yeah. I don't even know. Like, they both good players for sure. Yeah. yeah. I, <laughs> Who would you pick? That's a high <laughs> Bro, you see how big I am? I'm not yeah. attacking that man, bro. Yeah. What? I would have to take. But uh, honestly, I feel like uh, Lamar, you probably just, you probably embarrassed him. 
Yeah. So I would probably actually take Derek. I would just You know, people expect you not to text. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So Derek run up, like, hey, I'm coming. Yeah. I'm just gonna grab his leg or something, but Lamar, funny. but I'm gonna be back there. Yeah. No. Ankles over there. Yeah, I feel like stuff like that. As long as you like try for real, like don't, yeah. don't, don't go outside. You should be good. For real. Ever, ever seen like people in practice? You don't gotta call them names, but like people in practice really like try to tackle Lamar and like it didn't work out. Nah, I mean shit. He just got paid, so you, you ain't finna. <laughs> 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 yeah, you, that ain't finna happen. Yeah, but, I, uh, feel, I feel you. I feel you. So when you look at you look at your teammates, right? Yeah. Fifty three man roster, right? Mm-hmm. I want to know who some of the teammates that kind of, like, uplift you, that you kind of gravitate towards when you first got to Baltimore. I'll just say, like, the people in your position group kind of, because you essentially spending the most time with the people, like, that you play the same position as. Okay. Like, you compete in, but at the same time, like, those are people you you talk to every day. Those are the people you out there on the field with. So, like, I just say, like, uh, everybody in my position group, like, Daf- Dafe, Jabo, you know, KZ, like all the all the vets and stuff, they really look out for the rookies and just making sure like that you you kind of good. And uh, I'll say that's those are the big ones for sure. Okay. Yeah. So as a player, right, speaking of position group, you yeah. linebacker position, right? Yeah. So Patrick Queen decided to go to the other side. Yeah. Instead, I'm mean, gonna start the leads, right, and then like other guys fight for position. What is that? What is that process like? I mean, it's really just like next man up. Like you just gotta, you know, keep. Keep putting in the work. Like you just gotta honestly. In the league, I feel like you just gotta hope for opportunity, and not only hope when you get your opportunity, like capitalize on it. Mm. And that's more. That's what I feel like with life. Like I feel like you probably experienced it, but like it's probably something come along where you get like the opportunity to do something, and it's like you don't want to fumble the, fumble the bag. Yeah. Like you gotta make sure you like. Oh, I gotta do this because if you uh, if you are uh, successful and in, in it the in it the first time, you got another opportunity gonna come. You just gotta keep on stacking, you know, success, and uh, that's how you lead to like a better future for sure. I feel like especially like you around like a lot of guys. Yeah. For the for the teammate, I feel like it's kind of like a. You got to fight for opportunity, but at the end of the day, it's kind of like it's still like a brotherhood, bro. So oh, yeah, you got to sure. make sure at the end of the day, he might got an opportunity, but you got his back. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's I feel like that's like no question, though. Like, especially like when you're going to war with people like every day, like especially when you're going out to, I ain't going to say war, but when you're going to a game. I mean, that's what it looked at as, bro. Like, yeah, for sure. The preparation behind it is like, yeah, definitely. Mentality. But like when, when you're on the field, especially like, I don't, it don't matter what team you're on. Like if you're on a team with people, you gotta be able to trust them, like that they got they looking out for you the same way you looking out for them. Like you gonna make sure nothing happened. Like like you just gotta that's like a, a I feel like the understanding that you got like with the people around you. Like y'all of course y'all y'all looking for the best man. Like you trying to you trying to be successful in your opportunity, but you also looking out for the best interest of everybody around you too. Mm. For sure. You know, facts. That working together the team, was that something you always were good at? coming up yeah I would say like that was a big thing like for me like growing up just because like when I was in like high school I was a captain college I was a captain my last couple years there it's like big because like for me like I gotta be able same thing I was telling you like I gotta be able to trust that like the people around me are giving the same like effort that I'm giving cuz I know I'm a, I'm willing to you know do whatever for it to help us win so you just got to be able to trust that the people around you got that got your best interest in, in mind too for sure yeah I swear I, I remember growing up bro they always be like we got to do a group project I'd be like, yo, <laughs> nah. I hope that this man do his part. Nah, that's different, though. I ain't gonna lie. There's a couple of group projects where I was... <laughs> you slacking? Yeah, oh. but no. Nah, that was... Nah, I was <laughs> playing, but nah. Them group projects, they used to they be def- They really yeah. test you, bro. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, they definitely test you. You know, like... All right, well, I'm, this, this is like me as like a Ravens fan want to ask this question. So, yeah. um, this past season, the Ravens had an, an unexpected loss in the playoffs to the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, yeah. championship round. I want to, because the Ravens were on a hot streak, bro, like the whole season. Yeah. I want to know, like, from your perspective, because you was there in the game on the sidelines and everything, right? Mm-hmm. Bro, what felt different that game? I mean, 
I don't think nothing really felt different. I think it was just like, like you like to think that stuff is like, my fault, somebody comes. <laughs> no, you, bro, I just had a whole conversation. Yeah, you good. Nah, uh, I would say, I feel like a lot of times, like I just had, I had a conversation with this with somebody. Like a lot of times, you tend to think of football as like extra, like it's it's like an extra element to it. Like it's like some spiritual thing to it. <laughs> But I mean, like, it's really just a like kids game. Like at the end of the day, like, and when you think about it, the team that uh, go out there that play the hardest, the team that you know that that's better prepared, the team that's like got the best technique, the team that got the best fundamentals, they gonna win like most of the time. Of course, you gonna have some like some extra like like it might be some extra like some crazy happen, but like. Honestly, it's just like you just got to be the better team that day, and in the NFL, like any given Sunday, like it, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, true. <laughs> fact, like you could be you could be uh, top dog, but you know mm. you're gonna meet somebody, you are gonna meet your your maker one day. You feel me? Nah, facts. Yeah, I feel like bro, like the city, like from a, a fan standpoint, everybody just was like shocked, bro. Like they couldn't yeah. believe it. Definitely, like going from like I got, I feel like I got a different perspective because growing up I was a Raven, like same way you were saying, like we, I was, yeah. <laughs> really, I was the same way, and uh, just being on the team, like I feel like you just got to understand, like we, like we got the best interest, in, like it's not like it's not like the fans care more than the players or the players care more than the fans. Mm -hmm. It's like we all got that same like want to you know get to. Win. Yeah, like it's not like somebody. It's not like we like. Oh, we don't want mm -hmm. like everybody wants to get to the Super Bowl. Everybody the same way you was thinking like, oh damn, it's all, you, like the That's players not. thinking the same thing in the league. Like mm -hmm. you won't find no player on no team in the league at all who who like oh like we I'm I'm gonna go out here. I'm not gonna win like. It's like you want to. Mm. It's just like it wasn't our day for sure. I mean, yeah, I can, yeah. I can feel that. Yeah. You don't want to know like the expectations you have for yourself in the NFL. How do they kind of differ from like the experiences there? If yeah. if any did. Yeah, I would say like, of course, like you want to play more. Like for me, that's a, that's a big thing. But like, I would say overall, like it was better. It was better than what I expected. They going in because like. That's the thing about going to a small school. Like we ain't have a lot of, we had a crazy facilities. We had we had facilities that was that was good, but but not too crazy. Yeah, but now you know you got like a nutritionist, you got a weight training staff, mm. like for you, for your position, you got like uh, your body scan to make sure you eating right. You, they tracking your speed. So all it's somebody that really like hand in hand day every day what you doing. Yeah, all these things. Yeah, like oh it's God. somebody there for you. So like. That whole aspect was like crazy to me. I'm like, dang, like this really the, this really the <laughs> league, like you know what I mean? this really like the NFL, and uh, you just got, you just got make sure you appreciate it every day. Like don't take take advantage of it at all. And yeah, I don't know how I feel about that, bro. Cause it's like that's the thing though, coming from a small school. Cause you know some schools like um, yeah, they got like the crazy. They some some colleges better than. Like the league facilities. I be hearing that, bro. Like I don't know any bad facilities, but I definitely heard like some schools facilities look crazy. Yeah. I know LSU facilities look crazy. Yeah, they got like you see stuff with like slides, player lounges, all that. I'm like, dang, that's wild. Yeah. It was probably like the most like the best thing y'all had last year. Like the thing that kept you like, okay, I'm glad my school got there. Uh, I'll say like the people for sure. Like, like I feel like at a small school, you gotta keep in mind that like. You're not gonna go there and then, like, like you're not gonna go there and be like, oh, our facility is gonna compete with Bama. Like, mm -mm. that's just unrealistic. Like, mm -hmm. you got, you gotta know what you're getting into. But like, I'll say the people is better than anything, cause at the end of the day, like, it's who you know, not like what you know. Like the people, like who you know at the end of the day, gonna take you further than than what you know, cause they, the people gonna look out for you at the end of the day. No, I fact. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. You want to be around a good environment, bro. That's how yeah. you feel homey. Yeah. You know, I want to know, um, Lord Bird told me, bro, that young boy, your favorite artist, right? Yeah. Right? I am yeah. my little baby, so I mean, I, oh, yeah, that's, that's right. you know, on the same wave with that, bro. Yeah. But I want to know, like, going to the game, what's probably like your top three young boy songs you should listen to? 
you, I'll probably go with uh, Gravity, Untouchable, and uh, I just go with No Smoke. I feel like that's that's generic, <laughs> but shit, that's that's yeah. what, that's what gets you going. That's shit. crazy. You know, Gravity the first time I ever heard about young boy. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That was like one when I was up in city. That was that was what I used to listen to right. a lot. Yeah. I remember the first time I heard, it, I was ready to go to a track meet. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. You, no, I believe you. Okay, yeah. I'm responsible to get you in that mode. Yeah. Facts. So what's your, what's your diet like? Like what's like the best diet for like a NFL linebacker? I would say like you got to know your body for real like cuz it depends like what you want to do. Cuz I say I heard you was talking about like trying to gain weight. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to This like yeah, this is my free nutritionist advice right here. Oh, wow. I would I would just yeah. say like if you try head in this room just looked up. Yeah. I just noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> like if you're trying to get big like I would say you just gotta eat more food, like in general. Like, of course, you want it to be the like you want to eat a lot more proteins. I guess to be more specific, so that's okay. like chicken, steak, all that stuff. Like, make sure you eating more, more of that. And then that's different from somebody who trying to like lose weight. Like a lot of times when people try to lose weight, they be like, oh, I'm gonna eat salad and all that. You should eat salad, but like you can't eat as much salad as you would have if you like if you eat five if you eating like three pounds of salad and three and three pounds of chicken, like, that's still the same thing. You get what I'm saying? Or it not? is. Is it, that confusing or not? No, it's not. But that's how I know you watch your diet because I've never really heard nobody refer to food, like, in the pound ratio or aspect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say, that's a lot. Three pounds of chicken yeah, or something is a lot. Yeah, that's a lot I don't of chicken, eat three bro. pounds of chicken. I, I was just say I was just comparing it. That's bro. a lot of chicken. How many times do you eat? Like, three? Average? Yeah, usually, like, three. If you count snacks, probably like four or five. But I've been hearing a lot of players say they really be snacking, bro. Like, yeah, I ain't gonna like to say like I ain't even gonna say it, act like I'm perfect. Like, oh, I'm eating this, that, every yeah, day. Yeah, no, no, you eat some Doritos. And yeah, stuff. facts. Like, it's like snacking. That's like the biggest thing for real, because you just want to make sure you like keep it under control for sure. Mm, okay, yeah. that's solid. Yeah. I want to know, bro. Like, what's some things that Malik Ham does in his personal time to kind of keep him like grounded? I feel you. Like for me, like I'll be chilling. Like when I remember we was talking about before before the interview, but oh, yeah, yeah for sure, for sure. we was like I was just like uh, like I literally just be playing a game, like watching the TV. Okay. Like going to, I try to get like some type of community service in, like when I can. But like I literally just be, I'd say that probably like just talking to kids when I can, like doing stuff for the community when I can, cause. I mean, you just got to picture yourself when you was when you was younger, and somebody in the NFL came to talk to you, or somebody like who was like where you wanted to be at when they came to you. You kind of paid attention, and it was different from like say if you in school listening to a teacher, and she bring in somebody. That's like a different feeling. So I feel yeah. like I feel like I try to do what I can, you know, to help everybody out. Sure. I mean, I feel like you really, you are you real community involved though. Yeah, like I feel like I could do more, but like I try to, like I try to, I try my best, you know, like I especially like with my cousins and stuff like that. My fa- since I'm from Baltimore, like my cousin a teacher, so I'll be like, oh, she okay. want me coming to her class. All right, I'm gonna go there. Oh, my cousin got track me. Oh, I'm gonna go there. My friend like uh, got a a youth team that uh, I'll be looking out for. I'll be going out there. You know, I'll just be trying my best. You know. Look out for them. For sure. Nah, facts. So it, it, it hit different, especially with you being from here, bro. Yeah, facts. You're on a way another level. Yeah, I, I feel like in our personal time, we gotta do things that kind of like stay normal in a sense. You know. Yeah, for sure. Like, I feel like if you don't do that, you kind of going like your head gonna get too big. Yeah, for sure. I I've like, been doing those like a lot of times. I will like be so focused on work yeah. that I won't even take time to really digress and relax. Yeah, that too. Like. I feel like that's a big thing about, remember we talked about stress, like, yeah. I feel like if you don't ever, like, decompose, like, from, str- from like, what you do a lot, like, that can be your demise, because, like, say, like, for me, like, for me to be football, like, I'm in a facility from, say if I'm, it's a day where I'm in a facility from 8 o'clock in the morning to, like, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, like, you don't want to go home and then spend another eight hours Thinking about football, like you yeah. feel like that'll be sixteen hours out your day, like on one on one on thought. one thing. Like you gotta be able to decompress with all that. Like of course, I ain't saying you are gonna be perfect with it, but like 
just try to like do something else to get your mind off of mm. off of whatever shit. Yeah, I feel you gotta be like that, bro. Yeah, definitely. I wanna know who was like the guy in the locker room that kind of like gets everybody going. I'd say Roquan. Like, I mean, y'all. I know people probably see his pregame speeches. Like, he really be, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, he really be getting people going. Like, you feel me? Like, it's really crazy because like, like growing up, like you were always like I would like sometimes I would I would say something before the game. College, I would say something for the game, but okay. like in the league, you get it from like the opposite side. Like mm. I'm the person receive. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> but, uh, the, the, Yo, you the, gotta chill, bro. Chill. Nah, but uh. But that gives you stand up. Yeah, but like you a person on the other end, like oh right, you, yeah. So it's like they talking to you now. So it's like, yeah. all right, so this is how they. So now it's like how you feel you when you listen to it is how they. Yeah, yeah, I get, I get you yeah. saying. If right. you know, you know. It's, yeah. it's hard to explain. Right. I yeah. definitely get what you're saying. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like, like I watch like the Ravens game, all that stuff. Be like, just be on TV and shit. You would see like, I, one of my favorite guys that get everybody motivated with Drew Brees. Oh like, yeah. He definitely yeah. like he got a spark in him. I yeah. feel like you need that like that energy. That's real though. I'm real big on energy. So it's like when you got somebody in your ear that's really yeah. uplifting you. Definitely, I think a big thing is. Be an energy giver, not an energy vampire, for real. Right. Like, if you ever heard that, but, like, you don't want to ever be the person only, like, taking, taking, taking. Like, you got to be able to, like, to give, 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 give. give and positive energy, too, like, because you can easily give, like, negative energy. Like, no, nah, it's fact. Yeah. I want to know, like, as far as, like, advice. What's probably, like, the best advice that somebody told you? It, it only has to pertain to sports. It's anything. That really stuck with you to this day. I would say have a plan, like. I feel like a lot of times people like want to do stuff, but like don't got a plan for it. Like, you feel me? Like, you don't want to be like, oh, I want to be a billionaire. That's too broad. Uh, all right, what's like, your plan? like, what's your plan to do it? Like, you feel me? Because then that give you like steps, so you know if you're on the right path. Like, if you just blurting out like goals and stuff, you don't really know if you like on the right path to accomplish it or not. Like, you gotta. Make sure you set yourself up for success. And mm. I'll say that's the main thing for sure. Just have a plan. Yeah, no, that's fast. I'm so big on that, bro, having an actual plan. Because it's the, like, you know how it goes. December 31st, everybody put them goals down. Yeah. I mean, I'm ready. Yeah. And then it's like, yo, where's the plan behind that, though? Yeah, I like, agree, like, for sure. Like, I'll say for, like, even, like, for me, like, one thing I had, like, I ain't sitting here, like, I got the perfect plan, but I'm saying, like, when I first got to the league, like, I would do, like, one thing one day, one thing different. But, like, towards the end of the year, you start to get, like, all right, I got to go and eat breakfast now. I got to go watch film then. I got this meeting, that meeting. Then I got practice. Then after that, when I get home, I got meetings. I got to look at my playbook and all that. Like, you got to make sure you set aside time for stuff that's important. And uh, if you do that, then you'll be on the perfect path for sure. Yeah, if you really take them seriously. Yeah. Mm, yeah. That's how, yeah. I feel, like, I feel like more people, especially like that's actually take some goal aspirations. Yeah. Like a plan, bro, can get you to the next level. Yeah, like a lot of times, like that's like the, the biggest thing to like succeed. The difference between you failing and succeeding is like yeah, just, the plan behind just it. having a plan. Like, oh, it's crazy. Fact. So, what, like, if, when it comes to your family, bro, what's the conversation with them like at this point? I mean, like, for them, like, I got. A younger brother, like he like seven. Oh, he's seven. Oh, he's six. My fault. I'm uh, tripping. Yeah, <laughs> I'm tripping. Well, I ain't know Malik with this funny, bro. Yeah. Are yeah. you the locker room comedian? Nah, nah. You're not. I, I just be chilling, bro. Like I'm, right. I'm more like the one on one type. Yeah, I'm saying yeah. Jokes like that, but uh, yeah, that's how you know how is that person that be chilling and y'all chill one way like yo, he really cool as shit, bro. Yeah, yeah that's how I be. Yeah, but uh, I would say most of the time it's just like, oh, like. Like, just catching up on time that I had. Because when I was in college, like, I ain't come home at all. Like, I ain't, mm. like, I ain't had no car or nothing. So when I went up to, uh, up in PA, like, I was just up there for, like, damn near the whole time. Like, I come home for, like, holidays and stuff. But so now it's just, like, just checking on, you know, my little brother, checking on my mother, checking on my father, checking on my family and everything. Just being able to go to, like, the family, like, Stuff like same way people be having cookouts and all that. Like my family be having the same yeah. same thing. Being able to go to that 
go to them, it's, it's, it mean a lot to me because, like, I missed a lot of it. But that's pretty much the, the same way it goes. Dang, that's so surreal because, you know, y'all understand, bro, when you really in that, in that journey, you're going to miss out on a lot, bro. Yeah, like now, I don't think people. I, I don't think people that really want to achieve something. Some people that be saying they want to achieve this, they not. Yeah. They not. They not ready for that, bro. But you yeah. gonna miss, it, bro. Friendships gonna get shattered, bro. Uh, Relationships because it's like in the day, like you want me to be here, but bro, I gotta be away yeah, right now. Bro, when I tell you, like you gotta be able to sacrifice, like, cause like what I was telling you just now, like going up to school, like I miss a lot. Like I miss a lot of stuff. That probably. People probably was like, oh, why he ain't show up here? Like, why? I ain't saying they was doing it, but, like, mm. in my mind, it's like, if I'm missing something, it's like, oh, why he ain't show up here? Why he ain't do that? But in my mind, I'm like, yo, I got, I got, I got some shit I want to accomplish. Like, you right. feel me? Like, I got, I got something for me I got to do. Like, and that's going to, you got to come back at the end. Like, oh, right. like, I say it's better to ask for, uh, for forgiveness than ask for permission. Cause, like, I ain't finna just be like, oh, like, you feel I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna have to get what I want at the end of the day because this is your life for sure. And at the end of the day, nobody else understand that but Malik. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Nobody really understand the journey, bro. So they they just looking at it. Oh, you want to go there playing football, bro? Yeah. No, I got like, time to do at eleven fifty nine, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about? Thanks. Definitely. I got goals, like. Right. I got yeah. stuff to do, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I think right. that's my biggest problem this generation, bro. I don't really think people really understand like how serious you gotta be behind stuff. Yeah. yeah I find it's under it's undervalued, bro. Like your time. Yo, yeah, definitely. I'd say, like, people probably take advantage of, like, having, like, everything so quick. Like, you could easily do Accessible. this, that. Yeah, you yeah. could easily go, like, say if you want to talk to somebody, you could easily just text, text, them on, <laughs> text them on Instagram or something like that. But, like, you really got to, like, you really got to put in effort, I feel like, for sure. Nah, you do. You know, before you wrap things up, Malik. Yeah. I'm calling you out, bro. I need that arm wrestling challenge, bro. <laughs> yeah. Right here, right now. I need it. I, I, I hey. need that. Because you're hey. not ready to keep sitting here, bro. What you mean? Every time he say something, he do yeah, it. Yeah, I had to push yeah, up, Yeah, so like I was saying, <laughs> and then, you know, I did this. And nah, bro. I, I, I need that, bro. I'm, I'm a clear space. I'm a clear space. I, I sure, need it. Hey, Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, damn. You confident about that, bro. Yeah. What you say earlier? Confident? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're yeah, right. You I need it. that. I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna move the table up a little bit. <laughs> I, I need that. Somebody call this, bro. I need this. The moment of spotlight. Yeah, I, I, I need this. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I need that. You keep your shirt. You keep your shirt down. Yeah, I need that. How <laughs> you not doing that? <laughs> Bro, I'm for Come on, bro. <laughs> I was like, you had a little. You had a bro, little I feel like my body was ready to break this now, bro. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I ain't. <laughs> I was to say, yeah, I was like, oh, shit. He got Yo, like, hey, look, I was ready to do that. I was ready to get the stand up while you were He got a little strength to him. I'm like, Damn. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> I, I ain't like, he won. Yeah. We definitely not adding that. Say like, no, you want to add that? You got it, you got it. When I get bigger, bro, I'm, I'm coming back. You oh, say yeah. how much now? Every day, all day, every day. Oh yeah, for all sure. Right, protein. God, and push-ups yeah. too. Dang, bro, how many times you work out a day? Like three? Nah, probably like two, two, three times. Two? Yeah. Okay, so it's like it's like that Kobe mode for you. Like you know how Kobe was saying, you gotta get up at like six in the morning. See, like, as, a, as a professional athlete, bro, is that <laughs> like do you, is that really real? I mean, like you gotta understand, it's like some days, but like you not you not finna be up six a.m. every day, like that's kind. Yeah, cause yeah. I feel like you feeling human in the day. Yeah, bro. exactly. Like you need to, you still need to sleep, and you still need time for yourself. Like you feel me? Okay, yeah. But shout out to Cole. That's, that's oh yeah, my, rest in peace. That's my fab a goat. Yeah. You know, before we wrap things up, we got any final words you wanna make? Any comments? Yeah, I'll just say keep chasing your dreams, man. Don't let nobody stop you. Do what you wanna do, for sure. Nah, facts. Y'all heard it here. First moment, Spotlight, episode nine. Appreciate you, Malik.